Welcome to the world of Renault, a leader in worldwide automotive transportation. Because American Motors and your Renault dealer want you to enjoy your medallion to the fullest, they have furnished this video cassette to help you become thoroughly familiar with the features that make your new 1988 medallion a pleasure to own and drive. Medallion is Renault's newest line of state-of-the-art compact four-door sedans and wagons. In addition to its aerodynamic European styling, its interior roominess and passenger comfort, and the latest automotive technology in both design and production, Medallion offers an extraordinary level of standard and optional features and equipment to help assure you of years of driving pleasure and satisfaction. To back up that assurance, you have Renault's 550 New Vehicle Limited Warranty, covering the powertrain and body rust through for five years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. In addition, other components of your medallion receive extensive coverage under Renault's base 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 New Vehicle Limited Warranty. And to provide the ultimate in protection, American Motors introduces Ultra Plan, a new service security plan exclusively for medallion owners. This optional Ultra Plan covers the cost to remedy mechanical or electrical breakdowns occurring during normal driving use, and there is no deductible to pay. Breakdown, of course, does not include required and recommended regular maintenance, nor items which are subject to normal expected wear out. These items are all spelled out clearly in the Ultra Plan contract. If you have not yet availed yourself of the peace of mind which comes with Ultra Plan, see your Renault dealer for full details. The design and engineering of Medallion's standard and optional operating controls and features make this car a pleasure to drive. With a maximum of visibility, and a minimum of excess effort on the part of the driver. Its features are designed to enhance comfort and convenience. In just a moment, we're going to demonstrate the operation of those features. Some of them are standard, some are optional. Your Renault sales representative will be happy to provide you with information about the options you can order. Let's start with the optional keyless entry system. Simply point the remote control toward the top center part of the windshield and press the bar. All of the optional power door locks will unlock or lock. Once in the driver's seat, you can make several adjustments to provide you with the best positioning for comfort, visibility, and operating efficiency. Both of the medallion's front seats have reclining seat backs. Just lift this lever on the left side of the seat and lean back. To bring the seat back to its full upright position, Lift the lever again and sit up straight. The seat back will follow. The driver's seat also has a height adjustment, which allows drivers who are taller or shorter to position themselves for the best driving visibility and control. The height adjustment lever is located on the inboard side of the driver's seat. Pull up on the lever and lean forward to allow the seat and seat back to come up and forward. Then use the recliner control to reposition the seat back if necessary. A similar control is located on the inboard side of the front passenger seat. It provides Medallion's unique rocker positioning. It acts much as a rocking chair, bringing the seat angle up while the seat back angle lowers. With the seat adjusted, you'll want to buckle up for safety. Position the lap belt low across the hips, insert the belt tip into the buckle till you hear and feel a definite click. Then grasp the shoulder portion of the belt at the connection and pull up till the belt is snug across your lap and chest. Medallion's instruments are clustered in a central panel for quick and easy visual reference. Immediately to the left of the speedometer is a vertical bar. This bar contains symbols which light to indicate top to bottom, rear window defogger on, seat belts not fastened, parking or headlamps on, and high headlight beam on. The speedometer contains the odometer and a trip odometer. Press the button at the bottom of the dial when starting on a trip to record trip mileage. At the two o'clock position from the speedometer are two indicator lights. The lower light indicates that the parking brake is on. The upper light indicates that front brake pads may be worn, a situation you should have your dealer check as soon as possible. Just below the brake indicators is the engine coolant temperature gauge. It also contains a warning light to alert you if the engine appears to be overheating. Above the coolant gauge is the fuel gauge, which also contains a warning light to indicate that you have only about 2.6 gallons of fuel remaining 
in a 17.4 gallon tank. On either side of the fuel gauge at the bottom are turn signal indicator arrows to show turn signal operation. At the right of the fuel gauge are warning lights to indicate low oil pressure and low alternator voltage. The tachometer at the right of the cluster indicates engine RPMs. The red line zone is a power reserve to be used only for a brief period if necessary. Engine RPMs must always be kept below the solid red zone to prevent engine damage. At the right of the tachometer is another vertical bar with indicator lights. The word cruise will appear in this bar when optional cruise control is in operation. In medallions with manual transmissions, an arrow pointing up below the cruise light indicates when to upshift for maximum fuel economy of operation. The control for the power door locks is located at the right side of the instrument cluster. Pressing the control button locks all doors and the fuel filler door. Pressing it again unlocks them. At either side of the console are two switches which operate the front power windows. At the rear of the console, easily accessible to rear seat passengers, are the rear window controls. Pressing the switch with the up arrow raises the window. The switch with the down arrow lowers it. Immediately adjacent to the left switch is a power lockout to prevent operation of the rear windows as a safety feature when children are riding in the rear seat. In models with manual outside rear view mirror controls, a joystick type control is located in the door frame. Medallions with optional power remote control dual outside rear view mirrors have the control located just forward of the driver's armrest. Turning the knob to the nine o'clock position permits operation of a left hand mirror. Turning it to the six o'clock position allows operation of the right hand mirror. This lever extending from the left side of the steering column is a multiple control. Press it in to sound the horn. Move it up to turn on the right turn signal indicator and down to indicate a left turn. Rotate the end of the lever one quarter of a turn to turn on parking lights. An additional quarter turn turns on low beam headlamps. Pull the lever toward you until it clicks to raise headlamp beams. Repeat the process to lower them. This action will also flash your headlamps as a warning even with the lights turned off. With the lights on, rotating this wheel on the instrument panel to the right of the steering column will increase or diminish the intensity of your instrument panel lighting. The tilt steering wheel allows for ease of entry and exit, as well as adjustment for driving comfort and ease. The control is located just below the steering column. Pull the release lever and tilt the wheel up or down. Push the lever back in to lock the steering wheel in position. The stock control on the right side of the steering column operates the windshield wipers and washer system. At the topmost position, the wipers are off. Move the lever down one click for intermittent wiping. Move it another click for slow speed. The lowest position is for high speed wiping. With the switch in any of these positions, pull the stock toward you to operate the washing system. On the medallion station wagon, the rear window wiper and washer are operated by these two push button controls located between the speedometer and the left side air vent on the dashboard. The rear view mirror has a night position to reduce glare from following headlights. Pull the tab at the bottom of the mirror toward you to move to the night position. Just above the rear view mirror is a small switch console which operates the courtesy and map lights and the power sunroof. At the left is a three position switch with a front courtesy light move to the left maintains the light on continuously. The center position turns it off. The right position will cause the light to come on when either of the front doors is open. This same switch operation and configuration applies to the rear sedan courtesy lights and to the cargo area light in the station wagon. The switch at the right operates the map or reading light. The position of this light may be adjusted. The large switch at the center operates the optional power sunroof. To open the sunroof, press the back of the switch. To close it, press the front. With the sunroof open, you may notice increased wind noise. You may alleviate this condition by opening a rear window about one half inch. If your medallion is equipped with a lighted vanity mirror, just pull down the cover. The light comes on automatically and goes off when the cover is closed. Now let's examine the operation of Medallion's optional cruise control. 
it is operated by this main switch to the left of the speedometer. Depress the switch to turn it on. All further settings can then be made using these two switches on the steering wheel. Once you've reached a desired speed above 30 miles per hour, just touch the bottom of the left-hand switch. This is the set coast control. Your speed will now be maintained. If you wish to decrease your speed setting, touch the set coast control again and hold it until the desired speed is reached. You can disengage the cruise control by lightly pressing on the brake pedal or by touching the right-hand switch. If you have a manual transmission, depressing the clutch pedal will disengage the cruise control. The medallion's cruise control has an electronic memory. After you've disengaged the control in any of the ways just mentioned, touching the upper portion of the left-hand switch, the resume accelerate control, will return you to the preset speed. This same control may be used for temporary acceleration. The car will pick up speed as you hold the switch down and will return to the preset speed when you release the switch. If you want to maintain the higher speed, touch the lower portion of the switch, the set coast control. Of course, you can accelerate at any time by depressing the accelerator pedal. When not in use, turn the cruise control off with the main switch next to the speedometer by depressing it. The rear window defogger is located just above the cruise control main switch. With the engine operating, depress this switch. It will operate for about 10 minutes, then shut off automatically. If you wish, you may turn it off sooner by depressing the switch again. At the extreme left of the dashboard, in the center, and at the extreme right are air vents. Each is equipped with an open and close control and a direction control for individual comfort. In addition, there are defroster vents along the top of the dash at the base of the windshield, front floor vents located below the dash, and rear floor vents located at the rear of the center console. Heating, defogging, defrosting, fresh air ventilation, and optional air conditioning are all operated using these four slider controls. The upper left control turns the fan on and off and provides a selection of four fan speeds. The upper right control adjusts air temperature in all modes. With air conditioning off, the extreme right position provides heated fresh air. The extreme left position provides fresh air at outside temperature. The lower left control turns the air conditioner on and off and provides normal cooling, which introduces fresh air to be cooled, and maximum cooling, which recirculates the air within the vehicle for faster cooling. With the air conditioner on, cooled, dehumidified air is provided to the temperature control system, which may then pass it on as cool air or warm it to a desired level of comfort. The fourth control selectively directs the air throughout the vehicle in four combinations. The first position directs air to the dashboard and rear seat vents. The second position directs air to the dashboard and front floor vents and the rear seat vents. The third position directs air to all vents. The fourth position, marked with the defrost symbol, directs air to the windshield and front side windows. For further information on the use of the heating, ventilating, and air conditioning system, please consult the Medallion Owner's Manual. Medallion offers three highly sophisticated audio systems to provide listening pleasure. One is the standard electronically tuned AM-FM stereo radio. Another is an optional electronically tuned AM-FM stereo cassette radio with dynamic noise reduction, or DNR. The system in this medallion is the optional premium audio system, comprised of an electronically tuned AM-FM stereo cassette radio with DNR, Dolby, and a graphic equalizer. Because of the differences in these systems, we suggest that you read the detailed instructions for their use in your owner's manual carefully for maximum enjoyment of their capabilities. Now let's take a look under the hood. The hood release is located at the extreme left of the lower edge of the dashboard. Pulling the release unlocks the hood. Whether you prefer to do your own light maintenance service or not, it's a good idea to be familiar with those items you can check. Always be sure that the hood brace is properly in place. Read the instructions in the owner's manual for checking, changing, or adding fluids. 
Be sure the vehicle is level for accurate readings. This cap covers the fluid reservoir for power steering. The fluid level should be about one half inch above the grate in the reservoir. Brake fluid should be up to this line in the see-through reservoir. If it's necessary to add fluid, be sure to clean the cover completely before opening the reservoir and always use the specified brake fluid. The air filter must be changed every 30,000 miles. Driving conditions vary, of course, and the filter should be checked regularly and changed if dirty. Check the engine oil at every fuel fill-up. This is best done with the engine cold. If it's warm, allow a couple minutes for the oil to drain back into the crankcase. The proper level on the dipstick is between the add and full marks. Be sure to look at both sides of the dipstick. If oil is at the add mark, you should add one and a half quarts. This is the dipstick for checking the automatic transmission fluid level. There are specific procedures in the owner's manual for making this check. The level of windshield washer fluid should be about six inches below the top of the filler tube. The cap is easily removed for refilling the reservoir. Check the coolant level against these minimum and maximum marks on the coolant bottle. Levels fine anywhere between those marks. Never open the pressure cap on the bottle, the small cap on top of the radiator, or the cooling system bleed screws when the engine is hot. It is dangerous to do so and could cause bodily injury. Be sure to check the owner's manual for the proper specifications for filters and fluids before attempting replacement. If you ever transport small children in the rear seat, it's important to know how to operate the child safety door lock. Push the lever on the edge of the door in toward the car. With the lever in this position, the rear door cannot be opened from the inside. One or both of the rear seat backs can be folded down for increased cargo space. After removing the shoulder belt from the guide, lift the guide to release the seat back and fold it forward. When the seat back is raised again for passengers, be sure it's all the way up and that the latch is fastened. Always replace the shoulder belt in the guide. The trunk is unlocked with a quarter turn of the key in the lock. If you have an optional remote trunk release, the control is located under the lid of the glove compartment at the top of the compartment frame. Simply press the button and the trunk lid can be raised. To gain access to the spare tire and jack, lift the trunk liner with this handle, then hook it out of the way like this. To remove the spare, lift this handle that holds the metal retaining straps in place. The jack and lug wrench are mounted in the well beneath the spare tire. Be sure to replace tire and tools securely. Remember that the spare is a compact tire for emergency use only. Don't drive it more than 50 miles and don't exceed 50 miles per hour. For your own safety, be sure to read the instructions for changing a tire in the owner's manual. The many standard and optional features you've just seen demonstrated are designed to give you many miles of driving pleasure in your new medallion. We've presented them to familiarize you with their operation. If you have any questions about the availability of optional features, your Renault salesperson will be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll find enjoyment and satisfaction in owning a new medallion. Now let's talk about some important features you should know about the station wagon. If you ever transport children in the back seat, it's important to know how to operate the child safety door lock. Push the lever on the edge of the door in toward the vehicle. With the lever in this position, the rear door cannot be opened from the inside. On wagons with a second seat only, you can increase cargo space by folding down the second seat. First, snap the seat belt buckles into their retainers to keep them in place. Then, pull either cushion loop to pivot the seat cushion forward. Next, release the lock at either side of the seat back. You can then fold the seat back flat. On wagons with a third rear seat, the second seat is a split seat. For access to the third seat, lift this lever at either side of the second seat and lift the seat back and cushion forward like this. The third seat can be folded up to increase cargo space. First, snap the belt buckles into their retainers to hold them in place. 
Then lift the lever at the rear of the seat back. You can then push the seat back and the cushion forward. To replace the second seat, push the seat cushion down firmly until it latches. Then push the seat back into place. Secure the third seat with the elastic straps on both sides to the second seat back. For maximum cargo space, fold both of the second seats forward as before. Fasten the third seat buckles as before and lift the latch on the back of the third seat. This time, push the third seat forward to slide under the raised second seats to form a flat floor. The tailgate is unlocked with a quarter turn of the key in the lock. Then the tailgate can be opened by pressing the latch below the lock. The rear window washer fluid reservoir is located behind this panel. The fluid level should be about one inch below the top of the filler neck. Turn these two knobs and fold back the carpet for access to the spare tire cover. To remove the spare tire, lift this handle and swing the metal retaining straps to the side. The jack and lug wrench are mounted in the well beneath the spare tire. Be sure to replace tire and tools securely. Remember that the spare is a compact tire for emergency use only. Don't drive it more than 50 miles and don't exceed 50 miles per hour. For your own safety, be sure to read the instructions for changing a tire in the owner's manual. The many standard and optional features you've just seen demonstrated are designed to give you many miles of driving pleasure in your new medallion wagon. We've presented them to familiarize you with their operation. If you have any questions about the availability of optional features, your Renault salesperson will be happy to answer them. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your purchase, and we hope this cassette has been helpful to you and that you will find enjoyment and satisfaction in every mile of ownership of your new medallion. To back up our commitment to customer satisfaction, each medallion customer is issued a customer ID card with a toll-free number to call if any parts or service problem with his vehicle remains unresolved at the dealer level during the first six months he owns the vehicle. The call puts the customer in direct contact with the regional service specialist who will give the problem special priority for resolution. Introducing the 1988 medallion from Renault. Roomy, comfortable, well-appointed. A car of substance in the classic Renault tradition. Now, medallion isn't exactly new. It's already been receiving rave reviews in Europe, capturing a huge share of the general car market in France alone, 8.9%. Road and Track magazine called this European version of medallion, the R21, a modern concept combining excellent comfort with equally good handling. Medallion is an affair for the family as well as the heart. A durable, well-made car that offers excellent versatility, efficiency, and value. It's available in Euro-styled four-door sedan and station wagon body styles. And it offers an extraordinary level of standard equipment to suit the tastes of the most individual buyer. Step up and take a look. The value starts with Medallion's modern aerodynamic styling. Born in the wind tunnels of St. Cyr, France. Slim roof pillars, unibody construction with full stamped wrap-over doors, and a large glass area all add to Medallion's wind-slicing shape, reducing drag and providing excellent fuel efficiency. Medallion isn't stingy when it comes to under-the-skin features either. Consider Medallion's 2.2-liter multi-port electronic fuel-injected engine, one of the largest in Medallion's class. It delivers 103 horses at 5,000 RPMs. And with outstanding fuel economy of 25 miles per gallon city, 33 miles per gallon highway based on EPA estimates. Those are just about the best numbers in Medallion's class, too. An electronic ignition and a maintenance-free battery team up to provide worry-free starting in every kind of weather. And Medallion's front-wheel drive, coupled with standard Goodyear all-season steel belted radials, adds superb levels of road control and handling when the going gets tough. 
the front wheel drive design allows for increased interior passenger space. Additional functional standards include power assisted rack and pinion steering for excellent handling and precise steering response. Power assisted brakes with front ventilated rotor discs and rear drums for fade resistant sure footed stops and four wheel independent suspension. Front McPherson struts, front and rear sway bars and rear torsion bars combined to assure a good balance between comfort and handling characteristics. A five-speed manual overdrive transmission comes standard for smooth driver shift control, maximum performance, and fuel economy. An equally efficient automatic transmission is optional. Look inside, and Medallion's value is even easier to appreciate. Consider first Medallion's generous interior volume with ample room and comfort for five adults provided with the four-door medallion sedan and for up to seven passengers in the medallion wagon with optional forward-facing third row seat for youngsters. Both models offer superbly roomy, versatile cargo carrying capacities too. The room you need to give your family room to move. Things look even better when you start inspecting the details of medallion's value, like standard front pedestal mounted reclining seats soft feel steering wheel and full analog instrumentation for a plush functional driving environment. Medallion's driving comfort is further enhanced by power steering, a tilt steering column and stock mounted controls all standard. Intermittent wipers, tinted glass, dual remote control mirrors, AM FM stereo ETR and a high level of noise insulation all come standard too to the great benefit of driving pleasure and passenger enjoyment. Best of all, every medallion wagon and sedan is backed by Renault's 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 base warranty, as well as the 550 new vehicle limited warranty that covers powertrain and outer body rust through for five years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. There's also the new Ultra Plan, which is an optional service security plan exclusively for medallion owners. It covers the cost to fix most every mechanical or electrical breakdown with no deductible, plus towing and car rental costs and trip interruption protection. This is a new commitment to quality and reliability for medallion buyers. To learn more about the 1988 medallion from Renault, simply select one of the options when they appear on the screen. Medallion, the difference is worth driving and owning.